All right, welcome back. So, got uh, the XRT stock tires put back on. They've been re-glued, had a couple days to dry. We got the X-Max back out here with some proper gearing in it. Um, it's a 2050, so 52 spur, 20 tooth pinion. And uh, got the gear cover put back on, got the paddle tires off the XRT, and we're gonna give them a rip and see how they do. Will we be able to last the whole bash session? Super cold today, real cloudy, trying to get out of here before it rains. So let's get this done. And hopefully it doesn't start raining. I feel a little moist outside, not so hot. We'll see if the XRT cuts off. So let's give these things a rip. So much speed with this thing now. Uh. Uh, rotate so fast, but I got to learn that throttle control. I'm hitting the throttle way too hard and the back is slapping down. End up breaking that uh, upper uh, upper again. Hopefully that was a rock that shot out. So much power with this uh, big block in here. It's really making it hard to correct. God, it slapped so hard and I got the shocks cranked up. See if this motor mount uh, slips at all off these big jumps. This is where I blew the tire. So I'm gonna try not to backflip it off the first one. God, that slaps so hard. You can hear the gear mesh is, is really good. It's not real noisy. get some speed on this thing now see how far we can jump this thing Not a lot of grip with these tires out here. This dirt is really loose and really rocky. <laughs> oh God, that's some distance. Not going full trigger in the air on purpose, just so I don't blow up the tires. Let's uh, give that a little break, the XRT. And when that upper bulkhead breaks, it doesn't stop running the RC. Some people are saying they haven't broke their bell crank, but I don't expect it to break. 
I mean, even if it does, you don't notice it till later. I ran my X-Maxes broken for a while. So I got some brand new Basher batteries in this. I still gotta put the right battery ends on the batteries because they'll tend to pop out. Just a smoother landing with the X-Max. And the battery popped off. I really gotta change those battery ends. I just don't have any. I don't have any XT90s or the uh, QS8s. I don't have any of those left. So I'm stuck doing this for now, but that's okay still be able to have fun they'll just pop off every now and then a lot of now and then oh so i think i got the gearing pretty good See this, the X-Max just clears all these, these rocks that are down here. And maybe that's why for me, the X-Max has always been a better RC. Uh, especially in the standard form rather than this wide kit that I have on this one. See the height we can get out of this one. Oh, that sucks. Pop the body off and pop the connector off because I wasn't lined up. Just wanted to get out and run rather than wrench. I really got to get to the hobby store and buy some connectors and look, the battery popping off. I do have foam in for the batteries. not good to bash with loose battery connections but uh definitely you can run around see if we can hit this thing right Look at that. Let's give the XRT a run. A lot of people were saying in my last video that I'm calling this thing an X-Max a lot. Some people are saying, oh, it's, it drives way different than an X-Max. Honestly, to me, it doesn't, um, especially the wide X-Max. Now that is a monster truck and it has a lot more suspension travel. This has less suspension travel. That's the only difference I really, I could tell. You put X-Max tires on an XRT, it feels like a lowered X-Max.
no bite on this loose gravel. Got to get in this green stuff. Look at that thing. That was full trigger. Didn't pop a tire. Full trigger. Oh, cut out. That's funny. I went full trigger and the Max said, Max 6 said, nope. You're not doing that full trigger thing again. I think what it's doing is it's sensing the big load. It's sensing the big load from uh, the tall gearing. When it's not gripped up, it won't sense such a big load. But on paddle tires, When the batteries just get below four volts and when you hit it in that tall gearing, the load is uh, too much. This thing definitely moves out. See, I like this more of like an on-road. For bashing, I still like the X-Max. You see a lot of guys doing this with the XRT, just running around with the stock tires and that kind of stuff because it handles so well. Nothing can really stop it. Like that small jump is definitely better than the sended jumps. Like you can backflip it and that kind of stuff, but it just seems more stable. Kind of like the wide X-Max. The wide X-Max seems real stable as well compared to the standard with X-Max. And it shut off. I think we just have too much gearing in it. So it does that low voltage cut. It's not overheating. I mean, the Max 6 itself is warm. The motor's not. I think uh, the Max 6 can't handle it. Not this gearing anyway. Look at that. Stuck on a root. On a branch. Stuck on a tree branch. Let this thing cool down some. We'll grab the X-Max. X-Max I've got the gearing figured out on. I guess on the XRT. If I had the stock motor in it. I would keep it geared the same as my X-Max. Might try this big block in the X-Max since I've never, uh, never ran an X-Max on a big block. I just never felt the need. I just think the stock motor for me for the area I have to run is perfect to bash around like this. And battery came unplugged. I bought these new batteries from the hobby store. Uh, because I was running low on 4S batteries. Good 4S batteries. Look at that. So, I bought these basher packs. And they fit in the X-Max. This has got the upgraded um, steering uh, servo from Traxxas along with the spring and the adjustable uh, steering link.
the bigger spring does help it. And then I got the hot racing uh, bell crank support along with the cush drive support. And the hot racing big wheel nuts for this, which I truly do like. And of course the indestructible body. Just ripping. His wheels are ballooning like crazy on the front now. Got some more speed on it. I That's to gear why. this up being the wide kit. Some people questioned why the XRT wasn't on the top five list for me. And it's because of the X-Max. I mean, honestly, the XRT is just as good as the X-Max. If you look at the X-Max with the wide kit on it. So for me, running the wide kit X-Max versus the XRT, it being the same width, I don't have rollover issues. Tires got really good grip. Um, it jumps like the XRT, except the high center of gravity chassis. I can clear all the rocks, the bushes. Nothing really stops the X-Max. Go where I want, when I want, anywhere, over bushes, everything. That's what the that's what the X Max thinks of uh, the XRT. Just runs over the XRT. Mini big block XRT's got nothing on the X Max. Now don't get me wrong, I'm glad I own the XRT. Um, I'm glad I got to experience it. If you have a chance, go experience an XRT. And then you tell me down in the comments, if you have a white X-Max that you put all this money into for the last eight years, what's better? Now, if you don't own an X-Max and you don't like the X-Max style, XRT 100% is for you. But at the price point for me, having the X-Max already, this, is 70% similar to an X-Max. Considering there's only 30% parts that are new, and I think they're counting the battery trays, and probably that front upper bulkhead, and the bracing on it, but none of that seemed to change what the X-Max did, and the only, like I said, when this wide kit came out on the X-Max, for me, I couldn't recommend it at, you know, a $200 price tag. Unless you're just gonna be speed ripping around like this and not really like doing send it jumps, send it jumps, keep it standard. But if you're gonna be racing around like this, you might wanna just go for a wide kit on your X-Max. And if you still don't like it, then do what RC Guy Garage did. Build a Mongol. Low center gravity chassis and put that on. And keep the X-Max body. But like I said, if you don't have an X-Max and you're looking at getting uh, an X-Scale RC, as Traxxas calls it, X-Scale, um, definitely the XRT is the way to go. But you gotta remember, that's a $900 price tag on that thing. Plus, you're probably gonna wanna buy some batteries. If you don't wanna cut off the connector on the ESC, and you don't wanna put a big block in it like I did, I feel the X-Max and the XRT both need, at minimum, 
a Max 6. Max 6 stock motor, I think you're good, geared right. Whether it's an XRT or an X-Max. I can literally sit here and I'd be happy ripping my X-Max all day and not bringing the XRT. Don't have to deal with people are breaking uh, wing mounts. Well, the X-Max, you don't have a wing back there. You don't have to worry about that. I still haven't broke my wing mount, but I haven't had 40 foot drops onto the tail. And we don't have super cold weather here in California, so the plastics aren't brittle. But there you go. That's gonna end this video. They both survived, tires survived. I'm gonna have to give both of them a look on the tires and see if they need to be glued now. Um, because usually after one run of ripping, you have to re-glue your tires. But there we go. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll catch you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching. Just clicking on the camera for some behind the scenes footage. Because I do horse around. I truly do. You know, a lot of people are saying that uh, I'm a Traxxas fanboy. Um, I'm truly not. If you look at my top picks for, uh, top five picks for 2022, there's more Armas in there than Traxxas, but I think Traxxas did more in 2022 than Arma did. Um, and I think the reason being is Arma, for 2020 and 2021 dropped a lot of new RC cars. Like, you know, Losi did. The LMT, I would have loved to put the LMT. Now the Sling King on there, haven't ran the, the LMT new Sling King version. But I heard that the Grave Digger and those are now gonna be discontinued, which is a Losi thing. Uh, seems like uh, Arma's following suit because it seems like the fire team and the 8S Outcast are now uh, on the chopping block, um, which really sucks. Some people are saying they're just uh, revising the 8S Outcast, and that's a possibility. Um, gonna be a new version, but 20% of parts change. Is it all gonna be EXB parts? I couldn't tell you. Um, hopefully they don't they don't lose that line because I like the 8s outcast more than I liked uh, the Creighton 8s for sure you can hear good gearing mesh Listen to the way that sounds. Good mesh. Some three wheel motion. <laughs> or some tipping motion. Just trying to spin out the batteries. I don't know when I'm going to be able to run again. Tires are gripping up. You can flip a wide X-Max just like an XRT. And you can do some three-wheel motion. And some two-wheel motion from, for that matter. Turtle. Ha 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 ha.
got to love an X-Max. And as you see, I'm out here grabbing the X-Max remote over the XRT. There's a reason for that. One, it's got brand new batteries in it, so they're lasting longer. But I truly like the monster truck, and I think the wide kit does great on road. But there we go. I'm going to get these things shut off, and we're going to get home. But thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We will 100% catch you on a new video. Thanks for watching. That's where you can't go full trigger or you'll pop a tire. <laughs> Blew a tire.